Do you guys, uh, do you smell that? Seriously, what is that smell? Seriously, where is that smell coming from? Where is it? Haha, <laughs> I found it! A brand new failed IP! Heck yeah! Wait, what is this game? ARMS! It's the hottest and freshest IP to ever live in the shadow of Smash Brothers and Splatoon. Yeah, Nintendo kinda already did the whole new IP in 2010 shtick. Oh, and they already kinda have the fighting game thing down as well. Well, guess I won't be playing this game. Honestly, this game deserves so much better. So, for the rest of you non-ARMS players out there, which should be about... Uh, 7.5 million of you, give or take. What is ARMS? It's a 3D fighting game where your arms go zoom, zoom! And you just knock out your opponent. So what great modes can I look forward to? <laughs> of course we have game modes. I mean, we got... Versus mode. That's about it. That's honestly where a lot of the meat is. There are a couple of other game modes, but they're definitely more of a fun distraction than anything else. Grand Prix, where you go through a gauntlet of 10 challengers ending in a climactic battle against a souped up Max Brass. There's V-Ball. It's volleyball. Oh yeah, and there's hoops. It's basketball. But your opponent is the ball. There's competitive duck hunt, and rounding out these modes is 1 on 100. It's 100 man smash. Also for a while, there were arms party crashes. Think of it like Splatoon's Splatfest, where two teams compete in order to decide which is better. Those would happen periodically for about the first two years of the game. Look, I'm gonna be real. When you play arms, you play for arms. These extra modes aren't bad, and they can certainly spice things up, but they're just that, extra modes. Ah, the real meat of ARMS is where it's at. ARMS has a surprisingly addictive core gameplay. You can punch, block, grab, jump, and dodge. Well, while that seems pretty simple, there's actually a lot of intricacies to it. If you're good at the game, which I am very apparently not. <laughs> yeah, I use motion controls. How could you tell? <laughs> Motion controls are optional, which is great, but I also actually really like using them. Sure, you look like a real doofus, but it's just plain fun to pretend you're actually boxing. F I actually had the rare opportunity to get together with a couple of buddies of mine and play this game. Nintendo Novice, Willow Tillo, and Greenhouse. Links for their channels will be in the description below and their videos in my end card. We got to do a four person free for all. It got pretty wild, but it was super fun. Honestly, it taught me that ARMS is really best enjoyed with company. Whether that's in person or online, and speaking of online, there isn't any. Well, I should say there's not much. The lack of a big online community is one of ARMS's greatest problems. And the progression system. So, how do you get more ARMS? Well, you go to get ARMS. Oh, that makes sense. When you're there, all you gotta do is hit some targets, score some points, and get some arms. And wait, oh wait, is that, is that a checklist? Oh no, it's a checklist. And that's the gist of why arms died. Speaking of, why did it die? Well, that's why, weren't you listening? Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. There were a couple of other things too that killed ARMS. Starting out, ARMS was able to get a grassroots scene started, which is perfect, but problems started to come up in regards to how these tournaments should be run. Firstly, ARMS itself had no tournament support. Games were just held in normal arenas. The issue arises when, you know, tournament organizers have to unlock everything. The only other option was that players would bring their own Switch, and that can be something that's hard to organize. So this lack of uniformity was a major blow to ARMS at its start. The final update actually enabled a tournament mode. With the press of two buttons, you could unlock every single arm. The only problem being this update came out six months after ARMS' launch. The damage had already been done. Oh yeah, and Nintendo dropping community support for the tournaments. Ah, that didn't help. The community still exists in a very small but dedicated form. Yeah, small. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, ARMS kinda lives in the shadow of some pretty big Nintendo IPs. It had a lot to live up to being Nintendo's next new IP to come after Splatoon. It sold a humble 2 million units, but 
even then, it's still in the shadow of Splatoon 1's 5 million. And that game was on the Wii U. Yikes. Speaking of, Nintendo still supports Splatoon. And aside from the minor bit of support with the release of Min Min in Smash, eh, they ain't doing squat. It's just heartbreaking to watch. But here's hoping for ARMS too. Oh man, the last thing I absolutely had to mention was the soundtrack. Atsuko Asahi and Yazueki Iwata are miracle workers, for real. This shit slaps. This has genuinely got to be one of my favorite soundtracks for the Switch. It's got such a high energy to it, and it incorporates tons and tons of different sounds and styles of music to make each fighter feel unique. I just love hearing it. And those are my thoughts on ARMS. While I feel like the extra modes are a little lacking, the core gameplay more than makes up for it. If you're lucky enough to be able to round up a couple of your friends, you can have a seriously good time. And it's kind of hard to explain just how fun this is. You just gotta play it for yourself. So, uh, please, I'm begging you, don't let this beautiful game die. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. And if you want to stay updated, hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.